Christmas is just around the corner and don't we know it, right? Join us in half an hour for Suck It Santa. A show where we're picking apart your festive pet hates, quizzing a Hamleys employee and debating the true meaning of Christmas. We've also got some delightfully distasteful music from Hannah Farana to get you feeling festive. We'll see you at three under the tree. Hey. Uh, hello and welcome to Suck It Santa, the show that picks apart everything you've grown to hate about the festive season in our mission to leave you questioning the true meaning of Christmas. Here with us is Otis, an employee from Hamley's Toy Store on Regent Street. You're right, Otis. Oh, Cheers for joining us. You've, you've brought a couple of like little little toys to give us a taste. Take yes, us through I it. Have. I've got um, three of my top favourites. We've got the hang gliders, which go... Wow! Blow it around like that. It would help if I didn't drop it. That flies better than Ryan. Would you say that it is more about spending money or spending time with the family at Christmas? I'll say more about spending money. Wow. Okay. That's a bleak message there. Well, thanks for coming in today, Otis. <laughs> Speaking of money, we're going to be finding out how spending at Christmas affects some very vulnerable people. With us today, we have two pairs of students in to voice their opinions on generosity at Christmas. Now, to my right, we have two students who believe charities are incredibly important at Christmas, calling themselves, it's not all about receiving. Uh, I had a girlfriend called that one. And on my left are two students who feel that Christmas time is time to think solely about the family and their name is Charity Starts at Home. God bless you guys for coming in. Thank you very much. So let's crack on with our first question. What do you think is important at Christmas time? Do you think it's important to give to charity? I'm going to direct that to giving is better than receiving. To sum up your, your arguments and give you two seconds, what would you say? Spread the, spread the love. Spread the love. <laughs> Just keep uh, it for yourself. Uh, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Just keep it there. Well, I'm afraid that is all we've got time for. But thanks to both of our teams for playing part. You are absolute superstars. Now it's time for us to look what makes Christmas so dangerous. Welcome back. I've just been looking through some of your tweets and it turns out we're not the only ones that think Christmas has lost its meaning. At Nathan V. Getting so fed up with all these Christmas adverts. They don't even make sense. Hashtag suck it Santa. Now I feel exactly the same. I can't stand those Christmas adverts, right? And it turns out Scrooge don't think much of them either. So this next part of the show gives us a chance to like let off some steam and give those advertisers a piece of his mind. It's time for his advert critique. Sadly, that brings us to the end of this year's Suck It Santa. The turkey was burnt and we had far too much to drink. Well, I think we finally found the true meaning of Christmas. Thanks to all of you that tweeted in. And of course, thank you so much to all of our guests. I've come to meet some real life providers of henchmen for the film and TV industry. People from the military film services. Uh, okay, so do, do you guys have any tips on how I could beat Chuck Norris? The, the very fact that you would stand up there against him might make everyone think twice. If I am going to fight the big man, I am definitely going to need some training. Now, the crew have hooked me up with the best in the business, a guy by the name of Sensei Tassi. He's going to show me what it means to fight, what it means for martial arts, and what it means to beat the big dog. Um, can we can we play it like I'm Chuck and then see how you deal Absolutely. with it first? Absolutely. Uh, Sounds big. Uh, I, I don't want to like if I. Oh. Okay, so if I, I went pop in the. Oh, oh, okay, don't do that. So we're here. It's gonna be here. Right. Okay. That's the most inefficient applause I've ever. <laughs> So here we are on the streets of Brixton uh, and we're going to find out what it means to be manly in the best possible way. We're going to go find off some manly men, some manly females, some people in general and see what being manly means to them. You know this bloke? It's Chuck Norris. That is Chuck Norris, very good knowledge. Uh, how do you think my chances are of fighting Chuck Norris? You believe everything you read on the internet and hear on Family Guy, you've not got much of a chance. Do you know who this bloke is? Oh, yes, Chuck, Chuck, Chuck Norris. So, so what, what in particular, when you're looking at me, yeah. how do you think my fighting style is going to be? Maybe you might use your wits. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> this is all about, meant to be about me being masculine, and then you just essentially go, you'll use your words. So what, like, what do I need to change in order to be more of a man? Yeah, muscles. Muscles, brilliant. That, well, it's not like, did you say that's not... I, I work out, I, I open tins. Yeah, have you ever tried beating a 70 year old man? No, but I'm pretty confident that I could. Well, this is, I'm you know, glad. My bones are fragile, 
You know, they don't get the same amount of calcium. Yeah. You can look scary, you can be trained, but you just don't have the calcium. You don't have the muscle tone. It's just Welcome back. Right now we're joined by top comedian Dave Chawner, who's here to tell us what it's like being a comedian. Yes. So Dave, what is it like being a stand-up comedian? I think that in, in a word, uh, lonely. It's very lonely. Oh. I spend a lot of my time eating brown flakes uh, and on dinner. <laughs> You eat a lot of bran flakes. <laughs> I eat a lot of bran flakes. It's all about my diet, really. There's uh, a lot of bran, but big fan of the bran. Do, big bran man. Do, do you suffer from diarrhea? I don't. I, I feel very... I think my... You know how some people take a Yakult? I think my, my inside just feels solid. It's the only manly thing about me is my large intestine. But if there's any young children who are considering becoming a comedian, oh. uh, could you just look into camera one and give them some advice? I thought you were going to... For the kiddies. So, kids, work hard at school, <laughs> play hard, enjoy life, and eat bran. I, I, I just thought it, it's quite a, 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 a ballsy escapade. Something that's troubled philosophers from Aristotle to Plato. <coughs> and and, and he, he had a crack. Is that really what this has become? Right. <laughs> Let's have a look at the pictures. In that picture, ideas, did a little doodle. we've got last week, nine o'clock, nine o'clock. I don't even know what this is referring to. <laughs> Bim, uh, <laughs> 